afternoon and thanks for tuning in to NBC News Daily. I'm Maya Holloway with your midday Arklamas update. In just over two months, the annual Celtic Fest will make its return to Lazar Park. The Celtic Fest is the longest running festival still in existence in Washita Parish. This year's event will include live music, dancing, food, and a new aspect to highly anticipated Highland Games. West Monroe's Chief of Staff, Courtney Hornsby, provided more details on the updated games. Last year we had the concept of we need to bring in a children's Highland Games so that children can start to learn these traditions and compete on a more appropriate level. This year we're so excited to say that we have a sponsor. Banner Ford has agreed to be our children's Highland Games sponsor. And this year those Highland Games are going to be led by New Iona Presbyterian Church. To support the funding of the Celtic Fest, tickets to altos like Soprant, Tickets to altos like Sopranos but lower and a murder mystery dinner theater are available for purchase. And according to the Washita Parish authorities, a complaint was filed alleging that 19-year-old Joseph Holloway was going to a 14-year-old residence to have sex. Officers obtained a search warrant for Holloway's Snapchat account where they allegedly found nude photos of the victim. Holloway was arrested at his home and is being held without bond at the Washita Parish Correctional Center. An arrest has been made in a recent vehicle burglary investigation. Washtenaw Parish deputies say multiple vehicles in the Knoll Creek neighborhood were broken into last week. Deputies were able to identify Lawrence Chisholm as a suspected getaway driver. He has been charged with six counts of burglary and is being held at the Washtenaw Correctional Center. More arrests are expected in this case and we will update you as more information becomes available. Well, continuing that coverage, Louisiana delegates to the Democratic National Convention officially endorsed Harris as the party's presidential nominee. By an overwhelming majority vote, Kamala Harris garnered support from Louisiana delegates in her run for the presidency. The announcement of Harris' endorsement came during a, virtu a virtual meeting late Sunday night. Chairman Randall Gaines and the delegates plan to back Harris come this August. National and state level Democrats have also pledged their support for Harris. This was like a shock to this election. And now I think she's a Gen Xer, first Gen Xer to be a, be a candidate for president of the United States or a nominee of a party. And I think the election then gets reframed as not an election between two old 80-year-olds, um, but election between someone who's thinking about the future. To secure the nomination, Harris has to obtain support across almost 4,000 delegates from the state. Louisiana is sending 53 delegates to the convention in Chicago, where they will choose their new candidate August 19th through the 22nd. And now, exclusive Storm Tracker Doppler weather with meteorologist Sammy Petraco. Well, as this stationary front kind of continues to linger within the area, that allows to keep the rain chances also in the area. And as we continue into the night, Wednesday night, the storms are going to continue, or they start to taper off as we head later on into the evening. And then as the stationary front again continues to linger south in the area, it again still allows a lot of showers and storms to continue as we head into tomorrow. Maybe possibly starting by the morning time. Again, mostly starting later on into the morning and actually as we head into the afternoon. And as the stationary front continues to linger we have the possibility of those shower, shower chances continue to linger through much of the evening before finally we head into Friday where we have a little bit of those less chances but today again we're still expecting the showers and, st and storms to continue through much of the day that keeps temperatures well into the low 80s and again it's very very likely we're going to see those showers and storms but again not everyone is going to see the rain before it starts to taper off as we head into the night with overnight lows only falling into the low 70s we're turning early tomorrow morning as those showers and storms keeping overnight or keeping daytime highs around the low 80s and once again and for the next seven days it's still going to fairly stay unsettled for the next few days keeping the rain chances in the about 40 to 30 range and then for those rain chances start to taper off and you know allow some clearing possibilities that allows the temperatures to begin to rise as we usually normally see in the summertime back into the low to mid 90s before finally getting back up into the high 90s. Well, that's it for your midday update. NBC News Daily continues. Have a great day. When you see news happening, call the NBC 10 Fox 14 News Hotline, 812-1410. That's 812-1410.